Yo, what's good guys, it's JD here, hello and welcome to today's No Money Spent episode. And today's going to be something a little bit different, it might be a bit of a long video, so get your popcorn ready. Um, is it the end of the No Money Spent for this year? Well, we're going to go through a lot that I've been thinking about over the last few days. Uh, you know, season 7's here, we should be rocking and rolling, we should be enjoying everything that has uh, newly come into the game in terms of reward cards. Um, but something's just not hitting right is is the fatigue finally catching up to us from playing you know basically the same game uh game modes for the past two years now since 2k21 with the season system as well has it finally caught up to us um we hit dirt we hit 4,000 cards was that us completing 2k22 is it now done um so we're going to go for the game modes talk about where i'm at with all of these things um and i'm just a little bit lost at the moment you know video games are meant to be two things. They're meant to be fun. Well, right, they're meant to be one thing. They're meant to be fun. But then in 2022, more than ever, they're meant to have progression as well. You're meant to have fun and have progression. For me right now, th this game is is categorically not fun to play. The the gameplay of 2K22 is um, pretty damn shoddy, to say the least. And in terms of progression, well, guess what? Th there's nothing that we can do to progress. You know, getting Anthony Edwards, for me isn't squad progression. Um, completing domination isn't progression. Getting Michael Finley isn't progression. Um, there's no like challenging gameplay. There's no Spotlight Sims yet. There's no Gauntlet challenges, which I think this game, well, for me personally, I really need right now. Um, so yeah, we're in a bit, of a, a bit of a funk. There has been some new content today. We've got this Blinders badge here, and there's some new playoff agendas, which we will talk about. We've got a couple of uh, cards that we've sold to cash in. Uh, our two Yarnises that we sold, 52 Hoff badge and 61 Hoff badge Yarnis. To, uh, to cash in uh, and yeah we're gonna have a little bit of a chat about everything so uh, let me know down below how is the start of season seven treating you do you have any franchise fatigue or 2k fatigue um you know the playoffs are on right now it's you know we're coming up to the finals you know warriors are one win away from the finals at the time of recording this so you know this should be the time where we are all pumped and buzzing to play 2k but it's kind of one of the last things I actually want to do. I'd much rather spend my time on the menus. If you see your favourite creators start doing sniping videos and sniping streams, it's because they don't want to actually play the game. They'd rather sit in the menus, and I don't blame them in the slightest. So, let's jump into this one. If you're new to the channel, subscribe to the daily videos and check out facebook.com slash jdcrossover for the daily streams, which will not be stopping, of course. So, week one, part one, if you care about XP, that is there. Uh, and then as we come down here, Hoff Blinders. So... You have to score 53s and 2-4s, that's it, 2,000 XP, and you get Hoff Blinders. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. If you really want to just focus in on that, go to a rookie game of Domination, and you get 53s in one game, job done. Uh, Hoff Blinders, obviously a top-tier badge. I've got no problem about that, um, and that was that. And then we've got nine new playoff agendas here, so Luca, a bit of Bam. Um, the only rewards that are actually worth anything, you might get Hoff Badge out of that. Uh, five tokens here, and then for the ones I've already done, uh, what did I already do today? Uh, Kavon Looney, you might get a Hoff badge out of that, I didn't. Wiggins, you might get a Hoff badge out of that, I didn't, and that was it. So, rewards pretty uh, few and far between, but um, yeah, nine challenges through three games. We're now up to 15 challenges already, with the uh, the Heat up 2-1, with their game four tonight, and the Warriors up 3-0, and that series is done and dusted. Right, so that was what we got that was new today. 2K did say there's going to be near daily events. Uh, I guess they count this blinders thingy as an event. I guess they count this as an event. So, I mean, that is uh, what it is. Well, let's go ahead and take a look over here. You guys haven't seen this, but this is happening tonight. Um, my 78 Hoff badge Giannis is selling and my 60 Hoff badge Kobe is selling. Um, because their price is it's seemingly quite high, I've bought a standard versions of the both because I do want to go for this set, for this lock-in, and we'll come back to this in a bit. But realistically, the difference in a 35 off badge card to 78, you just don't really notice it that much. You don't notice it for the amount of MT they cost. So I bought this Giannis for 1.6, he's already at 1.8. I bought this Kobe for 1.1, he's only at 400k, but I would be very surprised if he goes for less than a million MT. As we come to the auction outcomes, let's get some MT. Let's get ourselves back to 10 milli milli. Now this Baron Davis, we played limited yesterday, because we had to get the ring, of course which I did get, uh, we got a Fearless pack, and I got a Dark Matter out of Fearless pack, and then it was Baron Davis, so big, happy, and then being sad. Right, Kobe bought for 275, uh, so we lost 25k on him, 35k on him. Uh, this Giannis we bought for 1 million MT, that was one with 50 half badges, so we literally just broke even on that one, uh, but this one was 62 half badges, bought for 1.3 
and we managed to get sold for 1.55 after tax. So we made 250,000 MT profit of that Yarnis. We now sit at 10 and a half with, I don't know, three? Three and a half coming back. So we could be at 13 and a half, maybe 14 mil by tomorrow. We obviously were at the, the heights of 17 million MT once upon a time before we started opening up some packs. So that is how bad packs have been lately. We have lost 3 million MT. Obviously, we have spent um, a little bit on these guys. So these standard versions, 235k and 435k. So roughly, what is that, 600 and something k. Not that much, so I'm happy to keep these guys as we, um, you know, wait for these champion cars to be released. So let's talk about season seven. Let's talk about this. So first of all, and this isn't just me saying this is how it should be for everybody. This is literally just me from my personal standpoint. There is plenty enough stuff for you know most casual players in this game, uh, and these reward cards are great for most people in this game. But I'm just talking. From my point of view, I'm not saying this should be changed for me. I'm not saying all of this needs to change, right? That's not what this video is. This is me explaining where I'm at with this game right now. So, Invincible Anthony Edwards. Do I really care for him? Not really. Um, and that is because I can just buy uh, Kobe right now, and he's 1.5 million MT. I can just buy Scotty Pippen right now, and he's 1 million MT. Oh, he's not extinct, 2K, but your game doesn't work. Um, there we go. He's not extinct. I can just buy Scotty Pippen for less than a million MT. So, straight away... The progression of the, the season grind just doesn't really matter. Um, as we come down here, this playoff stuff, it's just a waiting game, you know. Um, they, they could be dropping cards after every game, uh, but they make you wait. So it's just wait. So, uh, waiting isn't exactly fun. Waiting is pretty damn boring. We knew that was going to be the way it was. Well, that's fine. I knew it was going to happen. Doesn't mean it's not bull, uh, not bull, not dull and boring. Uh, triple the offline. Obviously got a new update. We've got 250 more wins uh, at the top here, but after Willis Reed. I'm, I'm 650 wins away. I have absolutely zero desire to play this game mode. It is incredibly dull, monotonous, and incredibly unrewarding. Incredibly unrewarding. Look at that vault. We are nearly in June. We're in June, and you're telling me that the second best prize I can get is five tokens? The worst prize I get is 500 MT. The second worst is a Dino Ratings Pack. Then three tokens of 1250 MT in the, nearly June. Uh, and then the ladder awards are just as bad. You know, we were talking here, 50 wins for 45 tokens. That's less than one token per win, 2k. Uh, are you good? So, uh, no desire to play this. Obviously, the sheer volume of games is is pretty um, pretty overwhelming as well. As we move to Domination, you know, I, I'm somebody who's kept up to, up to date with all these. I was really hoping this season they'd make a change and it wouldn't be five-minute quarters and it wouldn't take 16 or so hours to... Uh, to get through, but they didn't make the change, and it is still 16 hours to get through these games. Now, for each game, you get 1,000 MT, um, so you get 30,000 MT, you get about 1,000 MT for winning the game as well, so in total, you get 60,000 MT. From those 10 diamond consumables, you might make 40k, so let's say if you're very lucky, you're going to come away with 100,000 MT. In terms of tokens, you get 15 per division, uh, which is, what, 90 tokens, I think, and then 100 tokens there, so say you get 100,000 MT, around 200 tokens, and then six Hall of Fame badges for 16 hours worth of gameplay. I personally think that is incredibly unrewarding, uh, and obviously this gameplay is it's just it's just horrendous. You know, no video game you should go into and think, okay, I've I've got to play this, but I'm not going to enjoy a single second of it for 16 hours. You know, it's mind numbing. It's so long. 30 minutes per game in 2022 is just a disgrace. No developer plays Domination in their spare time. I can guarantee you of that. And then you say, yeah, there's an invincible at the end of the road. There is, and it's invincible Tim Hardaway. He's a six-foot point guard. Now, regardless of whether or not I can buy somebody from the auction house, you cannot, and I mean you cannot use a six-foot point guard if you're going into Unlimited, which is meant to be like the top-tier game mode. You can't. If you go in, you are getting destroyed. So it's a shame. Um, it could have been a better name there or a better player there. Uh, I don't think that should be the grand prize for it. But yeah, in general... Pretty bad. I love the Hoff badge option packs as well. Like, I think that's a great integration and should have been here a long time ago. I like that, and that should be in other game modes. So, like, clutch time 80 wins is a random Hoff badge. That should be an option pack of one of five. So, I like that. That's good integration of something new, um, but it is still too little, uh, in my opinion, for the, for the amount of time you have to put into this. It is still too little. So, domination definitely not exciting me. Challenges, well, we've got two here. Pickup challenge has gone back to being a dynamic ratings pack, so this is completely pointless every day of the week. Signature challenge is one challenge every six weeks. 
30 minutes of content per six weeks. Spotlights, where we get the season spotlights, um, and that is uh, pretty much all we get, uh, which is kind of sad. These are uh, long, um, they're not too bad, but this final game was the eight minute quarter game, which is like 45 minute game, which is intense. Um, the Steph Curry spotlight was great, and, and they did it once. Um, the cover athletes was obviously, you know, day one stuff, so that wasn't great, but you know, Steph Curry spotlight for a Hoff badge, and what else you get in here? Diamond shoe, diamond three point boost, badge pack. You know, they did that once for Steph. Why do we not have a rookie of the year spotlight, a uh, most improved spotlight, coach of the year spotlight for a dark matter coach? Like, why, why do we not utilize this section more? I want challenging gameplay. That's what I really want and need from this game right now. Is games that are actually going to challenge me and, and give me some meaning for this offline play because most of it is just dull and monotonous and very, very time consuming when it comes to uh, domination right here. Then we move online. Then we move online. Now we've got clutch time here. Now, clutch time, I don't really have much of a problem with. Um, Clutch time in itself is obviously relatively new. I think it's a great addition. I, I think it's one of the better online modes we've got because it's so short, because it's one quarter, five minute, quarter, one minute at five minutes, one quarter at five minutes. Wow. Uh, and in general, you know, that, that's quite nice and, and relaxed. Uh, there shouldn't be any reset requirements for it. I don't think if you win 100 games, you should get the, the Fernando Martin. I think that's stupid to say. Uh, it still comes in around a 12 to 15 hour grind, depending on how much you win. It shouldn't be a loss requirement. It just adds a little bit of unnecessary pressure to what should be a casual game mode. Um, the rewards themselves, the players, they are what they are. I mean, Fernando Martin is very good, but from the actual wheel spin itself, one, we don't like RNG. Um, Agent Zero on the wheel isn't fair to people who really like Agent Zero and they're a fan of him or they're a fan of, like, you know, Wizard Teams from back in the day or whatever. You should be able to get him rather than just relying on luck. Uh, but other than that, the rewards on the wheel are absolutely pathetic. Um, you know, we're, again, we're coming up to June and you'll get 250 MT for a win or one token for a win uh, with no chance of getting anything better. You know, if you get the grand prize once, if you get Gilbert Arenas once, then there's no incentive for you to play this game mode past 100 wins in a six-week period. And like I said, it's about a 12 to 15 hour grind. There's no repeatability to it. We'll come back to the whole, like, progression versus fun thing, but there's no reason to um, replay that after you get the 100 wins and the uh, the random player. The draft mode, it is just still so out of touch with what it should be. Uh, we did this draft today, and I've got the Galaxy Opal Magic, uh, All-Star Cade, Jalen Johnson, Level Up Paul George, and George Mike, an NBA 75 card. There's a few things about draft mode. One, I don't start with that team. Um, uh, you know, Funnily enough, there's uh, better players on my bench. Why I have to go into every game and change my team around, rather than just being able to press square here or x here uh, to be able to change my team before i go into a game i don't know no god don't play a game uh, i don't know why that's not a thing that's just an unnecessary uh, inconvenience to the player which is just a little bit frustrating two you are using players from four or five months ago why are we using players from this long ago you know keep it to a recent pool of players and then why are we not getting the best versions of players either uh, out of the um what is it the fearless pack uh, and obviously there's, there's a lot of dark matters in there my three were Isaac Okoro, Bruce Bowen, and Mike Miller. There's there's how many Opals here? One, two, three, four, or Dark Matters? There's eight Dark Matters. Why are we not at least guaranteed one? You know, the whole point of draft is to play with cards that you don't have or you can't afford. I could buy this team for like 100,000 MT. Nobody's going to be excited to use a George Mikan from like December. Nobody's excited to use a Paul George from like February, and he's now got a better version as well. So the teams themselves are not good. And then you get onto the rewards of the draft. Well, guess what? If you get the grand prize, which is Moses Malone, then there is no reason for you to play this game again for any type of progression because the rewards are so lackluster. Um, the board is, is not worth it. It's too many spots of like one token or 250 MT, 300 MT. It's just relentless. So not really worth it in the slightest. Triple Threat Online. Um, very frustrating mode to play with the way that corners draw or players switch. It's not so much corners dropping in this game mode, which still is a thing. It's more about the players switching. Uh, you have so many opportunities or so many instances in a game where there's literally three people. You've just got to guard one guy. Uh, they'll just throw a double team or they'll just leave their man to go double team the guy that you're already guarding and just gives up a wide open three. So it is frustrating. Um, in general, pretty unrewarding, but they are quick games. Um, the fact that the top card is... Uh, random and there's no way of actually getting him you have to get lucky to get him never liked that um, and the, the rewards in general they are pretty bad you know dime consumables pack is is probably about a thousand MT uh, a pack you might get one and then tokens and MT 
pretty pretty dire uh, reward. As for unlimited um, five minute quarters again, I feel like that shouldn't be a thing in any game mode. Half an hour per game is just too long. Um, 53 games it takes to get Michael Finley. It's intense. Obviously, you know, I'm not saying all this stuff because I'm bad at the game. Like, we got the showdown tier last season, and I've done it previously as well. Twice this year we've got through the showdown tier, so I'm clearly not a bad player. But I don't have any enjoyment from playing Unlimited because the games are so long. They're so drawn out. The rewards are, again, lackluster. 12 and 4 just gets you the one card. You don't get any other bonus things. Um, the Pink Diamond tier gets you a Hoff badge, and a Pink Diamond player, I think, it might give you an Opal player. Uh, the, uh, and the, anything up to there doesn't really matter. The diamond box gets you a diamond contract, but like the, where do you start? Silver? The silver, gold, emerald, sapphire, ruby, and amethyst as well, pretty much. You can pretty much discard everything and get out of those. There's about 25 games you have to win before you actually start getting rewarded. Like, and if you play 25 full games, well, that's 12 hours worth of gameplay. So you play 12 hours to get nothing, to get yourself to a position where you can then get a reward. So unlimited, you know, I'll do it this season, but uh, it's, it's tough, it's tough. And then limited, you know, it's only opens on the weekends. Um, I've, I made a post about this yesterday because we played three games of limited, and for the first three games, I got uh, two dynamic gold cards and then a gold contract pack from two full games and one rage quit. It took me an hour to play three games to get two gold cards and a gold contract pack. Um, again, that doesn't really smack as being that rewarding um, at the end of the season in my opinion if you get six rings if you've played every weekend for six weeks you should get all the rewards from all the rings so you get the option pack at the end and you can take whoever it may be this season last season it was Markel Fultz, Jamal Murray etc and you also get a Hoff badge, diamond contract, diamond shoe, 50 tokens and one, one pack is that too much? Absolutely not. Would it be a huge improvement? Absolutely. Would I stop going for five rings and go for six? Absolutely I would, and I'd actually be reasonably excited to play Limited, and we'd be really excited for that final day, you get a nice little bundle of rewards, instead of just being constantly just one thing, you know, get Unlimited, you just get the one card, you don't get anything else uh, as long with it, so that's, that's kind of where I'm at with the online stuff, we'll come back to the actual gameplay of it in a minute. Uh, over here in the token market, again, just completely lackluster, packs from three months ago, just so out of touch, uh, and this stuff which is just drab, so token market has potential, the exchange three new cards a month, or three new cards every season, and, um, you know, they, they trialled the Hoff badges every week last season, I thought they were a little bit too expensive, they were about 150,000 MT per Hoff badge, which is a bit much, um, I don't know if they're going to do that this season or not, we'll have to wait and see on that, but the exchange can definitely be utilised quite a bit more, um, and, you know, events, double vault, what's that, double ball drop, double tokens, what's that? Um, we had the Easter egg event this this year, which was the best thing they've done by far. I played so much that weekend. It was fantastic. Um, we, we need so much more of that. You know, we need events. We need things that are repeatable because that weekend in the Easter egg thingy, uh, you had the repeatable patch. You get a pack every hour. You get, I think it was 10 tokens every hour. You got a random Opal player and whatever. So that was great. So I'm not out here saying like everything's bad. Like they've done good things. They just don't do them again. Um, if we look at lifetime agendas... This stuff was good. Oh, hang on. This stuff was... Well, this was good. They did this once. 81 points of Kobe, and you got a half-volume shooter and a Lakers jersey. They did that once. Never again. This, you start with an emerald card. You then get the ruby card. You then get the diamond card. You start with a sapphire. You go to an amethyst. You get the diamond card. They did this twice, and then never again. Uh, this stuff was good. This was fun. Um, uh, the Kobe... Sp the, the Curry Spotlights, they did that once. They didn't do it again. They've done so many good things. The Flash um, Diamond Shoe Drop. They did that once for 24 hours. They never did that again. There was a Hoff badge in here at the start of the season, and it's there for a week, so maybe once a week uh, there'll be a new Hoff badge in the token market. This is there for a week, so maybe once a week we're going to get a Hoff badge from the agendas, which is good. It's a start. Um, but in general, I just find myself struggling to um, want to play anything. And then, you know, when we do get to the online gameplay aspect of things, it, it's such a frustrating experience you know you can do the same thing 10 times and get a different outcome 10 times uh, and when you are controlling that outcome that's very frustrating um when you go to the rim for a wide open dunk and then out of nowhere i don't know spud web comes from the halfway line to go ahead and get a chase down block on you that's quite frustrating chase down blocks are so bad we played a game of clutch time today four times me and my opponent drove to the rim every single time it was a chase down block 
it's just a frustrating way that the game is this year. Uh, corners dropping is obviously still a massive problem. Um, off ball being so OP, you know, it is what it is. People are going to play like that because it is so OP and that's fine. Um, but the fact that 2K make it so OP is, is the problem. You go online to play against a real human being. You play against an actual person. You don't go into this game mode, these game modes to play against a computer. You do that enough over here. Um, so when you go online and you, you still end up playing the computer, but to another level because they've got all their settings in, they're playing tight, they're playing smother, whatever, um, that also makes it a very you know tough environment and unlimited with the, with the loss requirements. It just adds so much pressure, so much toxicity comes into it as well. Um, so yeah, playing the game right now, it, it's tough to get excited for. We've got all these brand new rewards and I, I, I struggle to find myself caring about them. And the reason for that is because everything is such... A long grind. You want Vince? Uh, you want Vince? Imagine it was Vince. That'd be good. Um, you want Tim Hardaway from Domination? Sweet. Sixteen hours. You want Anthony Edwards? Sweet. About twenty or so hours. I don't know how long it takes. I'm just going to put twenty hours out there. You want Fernando Martin? Sweet. Twelve to fifteen hours. Uh, you want the draft? Moses Blown? Could take you five hours. Could take you twenty hours. Who knows how long it would take? Jamal Wilkes? Who knows? Unlimited? Twenty to twenty-five hours for Michael Finley. Uh, and the limited is obviously not available for another six weeks. Everything is so time consuming and everything is such a long grind. This Embiid mural that they've got, I find myself struggling to get excited for this because when are we going to get this Embiid? In five weeks time. Everything is just such a long wait. Uh, even this premium set down here. How long have we got to wait for this? So yeah, five weeks. What are we collecting for? Don't know. Like, it, it, everything is so unnecessarily delayed there's no sort of like instant gratification everything is like all right let's go ahead and put you know five hours into this five hours tomorrow and then the day after that i might finally get rewarded for my time you know this is where i think spotlights would come in clutch if there was a spotlight that was like two to five hours you can knock it out in a day and you get that instant card instant gratification instant hoff badge whatever it may be um which they have done before with that steph curry spotlight like i said this this was only about three hours i think two to three hours uh, relatively straightforward. It should have been for a Curry card. Um, you know, they, they obviously messed up. I don't know why they didn't give us a Steph Curry card for his uh, record-breaking uh, performance, but they didn't. They at least gave us something. It was playable content. Um, but yeah, I don't know. That's kind of where I'm at right now. We hit the 4,000 cards. We hit Dirk. You know, we badged out Shaq. We made our millions. Um, we've still got 66 Hall of Fame badges here. We can earn more from Domination, but I don't really care to. We're sitting on 10.5 million MT. Ooh, Giannis is up to 1.9 mil. Go on, Giannis. Uh, with, you know, another couple of million MT coming back to us. Um, PAX are just an absolute MT sink. You know, we put three million MT into PAX to, to not get any Invincible card um, or, or or any Kobe card for that matter. Uh, so the PAX are just, they just leave a sour taste in your mouth. You know, it's a video game at the end of the day. I know they're meant to make money and my God, do they make money. But surely these things should be a little bit more attainable for the average player if i put three million mt in think what are people that ain't putting anywhere near that amount in and they're not going to be getting uh, any of those cards that's sure so they're going to have a bad experience from it there's no need for it to be a bad experience so yeah i don't know boys i'm lost on 2k22 i'm absolutely lost nothing is is getting me excited um we were going to go for first level 40 and then they decided to make it uh, a, a card that people don't really care about. People keep saying, you know, oh, the card's going to be good. Why is everybody deading it? It's Anthony Edwards. You know, if that's a Kawhi Leonard, suddenly everybody's interested. Last year, Steph Curry, Luka Doncic, David Robinson, big names, big name association to, okay, that's a cool card. I love that player. I'm going to go use them. Anthony Edwards right now? That's not a name that's going to get people excited. You know, you need excitement in video games. You need to have that connection to a player. Unless you're a T-Wolves fan, I don't think you have that connection to Anthony Edwards. Steph Curry, you're a basketball fan, you want Steph Curry. Tracy McGrady, you're a basketball fan, you want Tracy McGrady. You know, it's not just team-specific. So I think that's the only reason why people are speaking down on Anthony Edwards. You know, he, he is going to be a good card. He will be um, good to use. He will be very um, strong on the field, but on the floor. But the name itself is, is a lot. It is a lot. So, I don't know. This season, we're obviously going to keep on top of these playoff agendas uh, we'll get the Hoff blinders. It is a duplicate for me, so it's not a new Hoff badge. I just don't understand how... I don't know how I'm going to motivate myself to play this. 30 minutes for one game, which I know I'm going to win by 50 points, and I don't need to pay attention to. I don't know how that's still a thing in 2022. You know, we want time 
to be rewarded. We, we want, you know, this, this game mode is such a hit because it's such a short amount of time. Um, and the less time, the less time you can get frustrated by the game as well. You know, when you're playing a 30 minute game of Unlimited, things really do get, you know, intense. You know, you really notice everything that's wrong with this game. In small doses, it's okay. In a prolonged period of time, this game can get pretty damn problematic. So, I don't know. We tried the draft today. So I'm playing with below par players to get below par rewards and a card that I may or may not get. Um, true that online, I've got absolutely no desire to play for the, for a card that I may or may not get. Unlimited 30 minutes per game. It's tough to get motivated for that. Clutch time is about the only thing we can stomach at the moment, so we will try and um, fly through this. Uh, single player, again, domination, don't know how I'm going to do that. Spotlights will stay on top of the ones that are there, the Season 7 ones. We'll stay on top of the playoff agendas. Um, I'll keep buying the cards on Friday as they come through for this. I don't even know what I'm collecting for at this point, which is kind of sad. And then uh, who knows when we're going to get the next card of this, because they haven't actually given us a roadmap, uh, like they did last year, of when we're going to get these cards. So, um, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. Let me know down below if you resonate with any of this. Uh, if you need to tell me to stop whining or whatever, by all means, go for it. Um, I'm not saying this game needs to cage to me. I'm literally just showing where I am at in this game at the moment. Um, I, I hope things change, but I, I don't think they're going to. I think this is what, we are, what we're at and what we've got for the rest of the year, and especially in terms of gameplay. I think the gameplay is set in stone. Um, it's, it's not a fun experience. So, again, at the very start of the video, I said, you know, gameplay or games need to be fun and have progression. Um, for me, this game is, is not fun to play. You know, the most fun we get is from the menus. The most fun we get is from buying and selling players and badging out players. It's been the most fun this year. Uh, and then in terms of progression, completed it. You know, we, we've taken a dark matter from the token market. We've got uh, Dikembe still sitting on 1,500 tokens. We hit 4,000 cards. Um, so we completed that. We've got 10 million empty. I can buy an Invincible team if I wanted to. But what's the point? Why would I buy an Invincible team to, to go and play 20-odd games before I even get rewarded? I don't know. I struggle, boys. I'm, I'm struggling right now. Um, but we'll be back tomorrow because we're going to cash in these guys. That's at least something going on. And we'll see what 2K have in store for Tuesday content. They haven't told us what it's going to be yet, so we don't know. Uh, so it's not going to be the end, but um, yeah, I don't know where to go. Starting a new account isn't really an option because the gameplay is still the same. Like We're still going to have exactly the same problems. And starting a new account is, is going to be awful because, you know... Start a new account, you got to play 10, 15 hours just to get one reward card. I play such a, a significant portion of time and dedicate a good couple of days of like strong grinding to get one reward card. You know, I, I don't really fancy doing that over again. I can barely do it on one account, never mind two. So that's going to do it for me today, everybody. Just kind of where I'm at with this game and, you know, all of the uh, all the game modes that we've got at the moment. You know, start of a new season, it should be good, it should be fun, but... Maybe after, what do we have? Do we have nine seasons last year? And then seven seasons? Maybe after 16 seasons of pretty much the same stuff. Um, yes, draft mode was new this year, but it's been an absolute flop. Clutch time's been new, and like I said, that's, that's the best that we've got at the moment. So I'm not really talking down on clutch time too much, although it is quite unrewarding. I don't know, maybe it's caught up with us. But that's going to do it for me today. I hope you guys have uh, enjoyed my ramblings nonetheless. Um, please like, subscribe. I'll see you next time, and peace.